I'm gonna go go through some of the settings on how I like to set up my uh, Ford trucks. I've set up my Ford F-150 Lariat this way. I'm gonna set up the Ford F-350, very similar way, but a little bit different at the same time. So let's go and get to it. First and foremost, gonna go to the settings, which is obviously on settings, got Sirius XM going, but volume is off because don't need copyright issues. Do have the air conditioning going because it's warm out. As y'all can see, it is 77, but sitting in the sunshine in a truck, it does get quite warm. So I'm gonna go into vehicle settings. 30 minute max idle. I do not like that on most of the time. Sometimes I will have it on. So if it's gonna be out on the side of the road and I need the truck running for the auxiliary lights, for the construction lights, the amber lights, all that stuff going, I'd have that on, then the truck will shut off after 30 minutes. But for most part, I don't want that on. Key detection alert, don't want that on. Rear occupant alert, this gets old after a while because there's gonna be nobody else in the back. There's gonna be no one in the back at all. The only person that's gonna be in here is gonna be my very best friend. Obviously, she'll be in the passenger seat, but other than that, no one else is gonna be in the truck with me, so I don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Easy entry, easy exit. I do like this and what that is, it automatically moves the driver's seat to allow extra room to exit or enter the vehicle. The seat returns the previous setting when the vehicle is turned on. I really, really enjoy this setting. So that's gonna be turned on for sure. That is a must. And anyways, alarm system, go through that. Ask on exit, that's fine. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't need it asking every single time. And Remote startup, remote, climate control, let's see. Uh, auto, that's fine. And then seats and steering wheel, auto, duration, 15 minutes, that's fine. I don't need to set it for any longer. Certainly don't want any order, so it doesn't go for longer, but 15 minutes, that'll be perfectly fine. I'm good with that. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go to windows. Remote open, that's great. I do want that on wipers, uh, rain sensing. I do love rain sensing. Courtesy wipe that gets old, especially on hot days. It's just going against a hot windshield. Rain sensing, I do really enjoy that, just so y'all can see what it is. Automatically turns on wipers or changes wiper speed depending on the weather. Sensitivity can be adjusted by turning the ring on wiper stock. So yes, this is absolutely amazing. I have this on F-150 Lariat. Love this setting, so it is definitely gonna be on for the F-350 Lariat for the welding rig. Lighting. Let's see here. So auto high beam. No, I don't like auto high beams. That's, I've been doing a lot of night driving for the longest time and a lot of folks have their auto high beams on and it's just very blinding because the car doesn't sense it for a few seconds and it just gets old. So daytime running lamps, have that on for y'all. So it helps make the front of your vehicle more visible during the day. Daytime running lamps turn on automatically when you're driving in daylight. So that is fine. Welcome lighting. Turns on welcome farewell lighting. I do like this. This is also on the F-150 Lariat, but I'm gonna definitely have it on for this. Enable, we're gonna also enable power running board. That's fine. Auto lamp delay, 20 seconds. Let's see what that is. Change how long the lights sound after you leave the vehicle. 20 seconds should be fine. Zone lighting, how you change settings for zone lighting? Okay, let's see what that is. Override auto lamps, no, include reverse lamps. Okay, that's just fine. Gonna go back. Ambient lighting, we'll go into that. Change the intensity of interior lighting. So brightness, that's perfectly fine. It's all the way up. Mirrors, this is one thing that's very important. Set default behavior of mirrors. Let's go and do that. Mirrors, auto fold, yes. So when the truck is locked, the mirrors will fold in. This is very important when you're parking lot, especially here in Los Angeles. Door keypad code, that's gonna be for me and only me to know, or me and my best friend for when we're out. That way, either of us can go back to the truck and do that, but it's not gonna be on here. Anywho, just thought y'all would wanna run down of the different settings. If y'all have any questions, be more than happy to answer them to my best of my ability. Uh, it's a lot of fun going through those. I do enjoy going through settings, changing settings whenever they need to be changed, and Basically, the only thing that will need to be changed will be once in a while is the 30 minute max idle. So that way, if 
the truck's gonna be on or off for a lot of the night and the lights are running and I need the dual batteries to be recharged, I'll turn on the three minute max idle, turn on the truck, lock it up, and it'll shut off after 30 minutes. So that's all great, very happy with it. Uh, again, if y'all have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them best of my ability. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video.